like to illustrate the system that I purchased. It's the WDRV7063M Weldex rear view camera system. So what I wound up doing is I'm going to just step back and I just basically hooked it up as if you were in your car or your truck, you know. So what you have is your rear view camera, the camera off to the right, and I don't have a third camera, but it would be here. Um, the system came with two, everything you really need to set it up, all the wires, everything. So let me just uh, show you quickly how I hooked it up. Uh, temporarily just to give you an idea of how your system might work when you hook it up. So there's a wire that comes out of the monitor here that has all this connected to it. So what you have is your input from your rear camera, you have an input from your right camera, and you have an input from the left camera. Okay, I don't have anything hooked up to this one because um, I didn't buy uh, separately another camera, but you see you have the four male inputs and these wires they come with the uh, female end and They basically just screw together So you got a screw on this side and you have a screw on this side and they positively lock you can lock and unlock as you need to if you need to um, Okay, another thing with the wires is that system comes with uh, again to the through this main harness that comes out of a monitor is a positive and a negative. So I hooked it up directly to the battery. Um, what I'm going to do when I hook it up to my vehicle is hook it up to a source that provides um, positive um, power only when the ignition is on or the, you know the engine is running. Um, you know obviously your negative goes to any negative spot that is a good ground. Okay. Then also what you have here for hookup is you got your trigger wires. So you have one for your right, you have one, um, sorry, this green one is for your right, this blue one's for your left, and this tan one here is for reverse. So it basically tells the system when you're in reverse or when you have your right blinker or left blinker on and it turns the right camera on. Well, not necessarily turns it on, it actually feeds the right signal. Um, to your monitor. So here, for example, <clears throat> this is connected to the lead, the trigger, uh, reverse trigger. So if I just hook it up to my positive, then all of a sudden the rear camera sends video and audio to um, to the monitor. Now here, this is for the left, uh, sorry, this is for the right camera. So I'm going to unhook the, the rear, I'm going to hook up the right, and there the camera switches to the right and shows what's, um, what's being picked up by the right camera. Now Let's say you have your right blinker on and you put it in reverse at the same time. I've got it set up so that it defaults to the rear. It's a pretty nice feature. You could change the um, priorities. I also want to show you a little bit of the audio function. Hello, hello. It's great audio. And then also, what I want to show you is the night vision. All right, we're going to get a little bit of feedback, so bear with me. Okay, I'm turning this so that we can point this into this dark closet. Okay, so this camera, here we go, going into the dark closet. And that's what we see. Pretty good night vision. All right, now I was reading the manual. It's supposed to come with a remote. I didn't see a remote. So I don't know, I might have to call the company. It might be for another version. So I'll have to see. I don't think a remote's all that big of a deal. Um, and in here's a little sun visor, just clips on. The mounting bracket's excellent. Very sturdy, 
You've got this that rotates, lets you rotate it left and right. Okay, and you've got this adjustment up and down. Then you could fine tune it a bit here in the back. So I really enjoyed it. A couple other quick features that you might be interested in. Okay, I'll just flip through these. Menu options. Okay, what I really like here is let me, uh, let me get there. So here, I'm going to turn the mirror function uh, on. So now what you're seeing is it's flipping. It's hard to... Actually, that was the wrong monitor that I'm playing with. So let me get there. Okay, so here. The mirror feature is <laughs> actually was on already. But if I go like this turn it off, it shows the other side as if you were driving forward. I mean, if you had the camera facing forward. It's a pretty nice feature. And then another feature is if you have your monitor set up in an awkward position and have to be upside down, you can actually flip the screen upside down. Pretty nice. And then that's pretty much your menu, uh, all your menu options. So anyway, hope you enjoyed.